Welcome back to the channel guys and girls, or welcome to the channel if you're new. This is a video that continued after yesterday's video. So this is the next gameplay after the Crown Victory Royale. And this is mostly shotgun and sniper rifle gameplay. But we're also doing daily challenges, so let's get in the video. Here we go. Tomorrow's video should have a Victory Royale. I was going to put it in this one but it was already past my normal timeline and I didn't want to extend my timeline because it adds more commercials into it and I don't think people want to watch ads that much so I try to limit my ad because I'm not being paid for revenue on it so it shouldn't matter for me to add them in let's get into the video so I was really hoping I can bounce back up there and shotgun the guy again, but I didn't allow me to pull the trigger again before he eliminated me. So these are the milestones we have left. They all pretty much run off each other, just daily challenges, eliminating opponents, and being the last to be alive. So I almost finished this guy off here, so I should have just jumped in on him, but then he shockwaved away. So with this shotgun, I was really bad with ADSing, so it's better off just hip firing for me. So there's a character over here that's really cracked, he's eliminating everybody in the area. So I coned him. I didn't get to get his walls because he was already on top of it. He tried pumping me as he dropped, but he didn't get the hit. This guy's really quick with his edits. So here's the Enforcer AR. People don't like using this for some reason, but I think the hit rate is pretty good on it. It's not fast, but the value that it puts out, I think, is worth it. Depending on the quality, that is. The purple one's pretty good. So this sniper rifle doesn't really have a scope on it, so it's easier to quick scope or no scope. I really prefer the no scoping on the weapon or the first or second option for modification, but if it's only doing long range, the third option for modification would probably be your best bet. So I know this guy has a sniper rifle, so I'm trying to quantity over quality, I'm trying to randomly hit him. So 
six eliminations, top seven. That hit him. That should have hit him. I don't know why that didn't hit him, but he does have a medallion, so he's gaining shield while I'm not hitting him. So I should have just focused in on him there and tried eliminating him right away. And then I got third party. Somebody from behind hit me, so I left that in so you could see. Here. A bot landed with me, or NPC, and I was kind of trolling with him, but he kept trying to look for weapons to attack on the side, so I him off. So I was going to leave him alone, he kept chasing after me. And he went for that shotgun. I like leaving the NPCs alone if I know they're NPCs, just because they'll distract an actual opponent so that I can go after the opponent. So that's more of like a long game plan, it's not really helpful when you have a whole bunch of people in an area. I thought this guy was inside the building until I seen him run up around the side. So this guy I'm pretty sure is NPC because he's just randomly firing, he's not actually hitting the shots. And even a bad player would shoot through the build to try and hit me. So I'm getting third partied again. I just wanted to make sure I got the alarm on that guy because I already took off like 85% of his health. Once again, here we go with the uh, Enforcer AR. I don't know how this guy got over here because I was watching the ramp the whole time and never seen him move, but somehow he made it across without me seeing him. And I didn't know this tanker was over here with the slurp juice, so I wanted to leave it in the video so people knew that there was actually a slurp juice on the end of the beach there. I actually got stuck on this railing here. I don't even see how it's possible, but I got stuck on the railing, so I had to break it out. So there's a daily challenge headshot an opponent with an assault rifle. I was trying to get all of them in that one opponent there, but I only landed one of the three. So I can tell that there was some boss battles going on here because the medallion's taken already. The medallion must be inside the safe, but I'm not too sure if he is or not. And I figured just rush in there and take him out with an auto shotgun. And he's actually at the workstation, so made it real easy. This song is copyright material, so I'm going to try and talk over it as much as possible. But this part here, I can hear a guy with a medallion fighting some bots, so I figured I would run into him and try and take him out with the mythic shotgun, which... Like I said, my ADSing with this gun isn't the greatest. 
And then that last shot should have been the opponent, but I hit the bot with it. So I think from now on I'm just going to use this shotgun as a hip fire and not ADS, or just not even pick up the gun completely. So we got two eliminations, 80 people left. Three eliminations, 80 people left. My daily challenge is to damage the enemy player with SMG, so I had to pick that up. Normally I would have tried running this guy off the cliff with the vehicle, but I have to do the SMG challenge, so... So I got 101 damage out of 150 required for the daily quest to be completed. Four eliminations, five eliminations, 50 people left. This guy's just trying to snipe Peter so he can lose the damage quicker. This player's actually a good player. I should have tried shotgunning him or something to eliminate his damage quicker, but... I was still stuck on my SMG challenge, which was completed already. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, go ahead and click the like button if you'd like to see more. Go ahead and click subscribe. Click notification bell so you see when I post next video. Thanks again. Stay safe. Stay positive.